Hi guys, this is Ramon Goose from The Guitar Show. In this video we're going to be looking at Richie Valens. Richie was born on May the 13th, 1941 in the San Fernando Valley in Los Angeles. His early influences were Mexican mariachi music, flamenco guitar, R&B and jump blues. When Richie was nine years old he gained possession of a Spanish guitar which he would not put down. It's probably worth pointing out that Richie was actually left-handed but learned to play the guitar right-handed. Encouraged by his father Steve, he took up the guitar, the trumpet and also the drums. He started his music career by joining a school band called The Silhouettes. Richie's first real guitar was a Harmony Stratotone. It's said that he bought this guitar in a pawn shop. The full model name was an H44 Stratotone. Richie's guitar was all gold in colour when he first bought it. These guitars were produced from 1952 until 1957. They featured one pickup and a neck through construction, so basically one piece of wood from head to tailpiece and two added ears to form the body. Interestingly, they had no truss rod. This was a guitar that Richie played in his early days with the silhouettes. Richie painted this guitar green in his workshop at school. In May 1958, Richie auditioned for Bob Keane, the owner and president of Delphi Records, a small Hollywood record label. Later, at a single studio session on July 1958, Richie recorded Come On Let's Go, Donna and also La Bamba on the B-side of the single Donna. The guitar that you're hearing on all of these hits is the Harmony Stratotone. I'm going to mention a great session musician called Carol Kay here. As a Richie Valens session could quite possibly be her first session she ever did. She was part of a group of session musicians called the Wrecking Crew. Also on the La Bamba recording was a great session musician called Rene Hall. So Rene Hall played a Dan Electro six string guitar, which functioned as a bass. Carol Kay is on the rhythm guitar and Richie Valens is on the main riff and the lead guitar solo on La Bamba. Okay, let's get back to the Harmony Stratotone guitar. So after Richie's death, the guitar was supposed to have ended up with a member of his old band, The Silhouettes. After 1990, Pat Wartink, who was a previous part owner of Charvel Jackson Guitars, was commissioned by Richie's family to restore his original Harmony Stratotone. This also involved refinishing the guitar as it had lost most of its paint. Harmony Guitars subsequently released this as a Harmony H44 Richie Valens signature Stratotone, which was overseen by Paul Wertink in 2008. The next guitar we're going to look at features in these photos from Gail Smith's Halloween party in 1957. So after researching this guitar, I've actually concluded that it's an Epiphone Ritz model. Now these were produced around 1940 to 1944 and there were around 500 Ritzes actually made. A guitar that looks like this was featured in the 1987 film La Bamba and you can see it here in a really cool photo with Lou Diamond Phillips. Now I'm not sure if this is actually a real Epiphone Ritz but it looks pretty cool anyway. Okay, here's a photo of Richie with a Gretsch 6120 guitar. He used this guitar in Alan Freed's movie, Go Johnny Go. Eddie Cochran was also part of this 1959 rock and roll film. My guess is Richie borrowed this guitar from Eddie Cochran. This next guitar is a Gibson ES225 model. This guitar was bought at a guitar shop in the San Fernando Valley on credit with the help of his mother. He only got this guitar a few months before he died. From 1956, the ES-225TD, a twin pickup model with conventional pickup positioning, was available from Gibson. The model that Richie played had a tobacco sunburst finish. In total, 2,754 of the twin pickup variant were produced. Nicky Sullivan, who was a guitarist for Buddy Holly and the Crickets, also played the same model of guitar, as can be seen on this album cover. My guess is Richie bought this guitar around or just before September 1958 as it can be seen here in his high school concert photo. Okay if we check out this photo here which is probably one of the most iconic photos of Richie Valens we can see here um, he has a Fender Stratocaster. Now this could either be a 54 up to a 57 guitar. He performed with this guitar on the Winter Dance Party Tour of 1959 and may have used it in many of his last performances in late 1958 and early 1959. A lot of folk have it on good authority that this was this was given to Richie Valens by Fender for this tour. And whilst this is the most likely scenario, it can be seen featured in a home movie of his farewell party at his home just before he left for the tour. Now, one of my favourite songs of Richie Valens is a track called Fast Freight. 
And my question to you guys is, what guitar is Richie Valens playing on this track? Because to my ears, it really does sound like a Fender Stratocaster. And if you look at the kind of time scale of when this was recorded, uh, which would have been the later part of 1958, it could quite possibly be that Richie Valens had actually obtained his Fender Stratocaster by that period. If you know otherwise, or you think it's another guitar, please let me know in the comments. Thanks. Richie's family are still in possession of this guitar. However, in 1967, the family house where these guitars were being kept was heavily damaged by fire and uh, Richie's gold record for Donna and one of his guitars was destroyed amongst other mementos. So it's not sure if it was this Strat that was destroyed or which guitar was actually destroyed. In this photo here, you can see his girlfriend Donna shortly after Richie's death with Richie's guitars. We're going to end on one of my favorite photos. This is actually Richie Valens playing the drums for another act on that last tour. Okay, guys, I hope you've liked this video. There's a lot more videos to come. Please subscribe, like, share, all of that good stuff. And I'll see you on the road or else I'll see you here on the guitar show very soon. Thank you. God bless.